Hello, Heather Mahalik fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, I want to talk about passwords and, more importantly, how to break passwords. How does the bad person, how does the adversary bust passwords? Well, there's generally four different ways, uh, and there's now a number of derivatives of each way, but the four different ways are thus. There's a dictionary attack. In other words, a word list created usually from words in the dictionary, or maybe a word list that I've created uh, using your name and details that I know about you. Uh, if it's a word that's in the dictionary, it doesn't matter how long it is, it's going to guess it in seconds. So don't use a word that's in the dictionary. Uh, fuzzing attacks. I've used maybe my name and I've used an exclamation mark because that's going to fool the adversary. Maybe I've used my year of birth because that fools the adversary and because stupid websites that mandate certain stupid uh, password schemes say you must use numbers and you must use uh, characters. Well, fuzzing means uh, the program is going to, say, add two digits at the end of whatever. Uh, if it's a dictionary attack, it's going to go demonstrator 77, for example. And it's going to guess that way. Another way is a, a rainbow attack. So a rainbow attack is a list of hash values because many uh, passwords are, are hashed and stored as hash values. Well, a rainbow attack is nothing more than a very, very huge, sometimes terabytes in size, word list that is comprised of hashes because comparing a known to a known is much quicker than comparing a known to an unknown. So we take our string, Kevin Ripa, and we create a hash. That's the hash of Kevin Ripa mathematical algorithm of that phrase. And then this will be put into a, 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 a list called a rainbow table, which is say all the words in a dictionary have been hashed, MD5, and now we'll run those hashes against the password field in case that's how it's stored. Now let's say you're using a password, as you should, that is not in the dictionary and is not easily guessed then it's not going to be susceptible because it's not going to be in a dictionary and it's not going to be able to be fuzzed and it's not there, there isn't going to be a rainbow table of that phrase hashed. Then the only thing that's left is a brute force attack. AA, AB, AC, AD, AE. Well, if you've got a long password, then it doesn't matter uh, what the brute force attack is doing, it's the sun is going to burn out before it can guess your password. So a brute force attack is absolutely the slowest form of password attack there is. So the idea is we want to come up with a type of password that is long enough and easy enough to remember that it is not susceptible to any of these kinds of attacks, including a brute force attack. In the next episode, we're going to look at just such a password and how you can remember such long passwords, but still be absolutely secure. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.